looking makeup which is a lot of makeup typically but I'll just kind of do it more light and like an everyday look because I'm not really doing anything so for foundation I just use a literal white powder this is where I store my little puff put a little on the ears in case they're shiny and they don't match very well <laughs> That's already too much. Um, anytime I'm in any situation, I'll blush. If I touch my skin, I'll blush. But, um, put a little bit on the heart. Oh, see? That's already too much. <laughs> I have this palette, which I got for free from a friend a long time ago. And it's got some really great matte neutral colors in it. So, so for the 50s, typically you do a winged eyeliner. I also wing my eyeshadow. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna use the phone for this. So I just pick the angle, the angle that I want, and I kind of stamp it on there, and then make the art. I'll just do the same thing on the other side. Hmm. Patina! She's taking a bath. So I have one eyebrow product that I really, really like. And I got it at Ross. And it's the KVD Brow Struck in Blonde. I do not like my eyebrows being the wrong color. <laughs> and I really like this product, however, I don't have too much left of it. So I'm gonna have to find another one. Because it was at Ross, it was like super cheap. Um, and I didn't think at the time to buy two of them because I hadn't tried it yet. Then when I realized, oh, this is perfect, it was too late and they were gone. And I've been looking ever since, but um, I'm pretty sure they've rebranded, right? And so, oh well. So, you could use a liquid or a crayon. Crayon is harder to get that sharp edge. It's gonna be easier with liquid. And I just go ahead and do black. I already have my little lines prepared to trace. Here's my current black mascara that seems to work really well. Now let's do the lips. My current favorite red lipstick is this one by Maybelline. It is interesting. It lasts a really long time, as it says. Um, but it's my current favorite. You let it matte, then you use this. And this is what makes it last longer. That's your layer. You just keep applying this throughout the day. And it like protects it through everything. And it's a beautiful shade of red. This one is Keep Up the Flame, number 25. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. You can add a beauty mark if you want. Ah! <laughs> okay, um, let's get dressed first and then we'll do my hair because my hair is still wet. Here are my 
shirts. Oh. Hey, Esper. Hi. I just decided on this. I went ahead and parted it the way that I wanted it. I clipped it. Here's the finished look. Yeah. Yeah. Boom, now we're in the kitchen. <laughs> um, I want to make some buttercream Easter eggs that I used to eat as a child. My mom made them and so she gave me the recipe so let's make them. So let's get the ingredients. It's fairly simple. They're very delicious. They're just sugar. Okay, so all you need is eight ounces of cream cheese softened, one stick of butter softened, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two pounds of confection sugar or powdered sugar confectioners sugar and then for the coating you need 12 ounces of chocolate chips i found 10 ounces of milk chocolate melt melting chocolate the first step is to mix together the cream cheese, the butter, and the vanilla. And then after that, you add the confection sugar. That's easy. That is a lot of sugar. back when I'm done. That was a bit of a disaster. It's much easier to mix it with your hands. Um, if you use a mixer, the powdered sugar will probably just explode everywhere, as it did already. But now you place this in the fridge for two hours until it's chilled. There's the eggs, so the first ones turned out really good, the later ones not so good, but I made some buttercream and I'm gonna try to decorate, put some flowers on here for fun. And here are the finished eggs. I would have done more decorating, but my bag, piping bag, busted and that was the only one I had, so. I just have some flowers, that's it. <laughs> no leaves. 
So here's a little haul I have from Goodwill. I like my local Goodwills. They are a little bit expensive, but anyway, let me show you. I got just a few things. So I got this beautiful light blue scarf. There we go. tassels. I already have a few like this, but not in this color. And I like these kind of scarves because you can wear them, but you can also use them as decor. So that's beautiful. And it was $1.99. Not bad. And then of course my Goodwills, because they individually price everything, like this, everything has a color marking, so then every week they put the color on sale. What do you think? But usually by the time I get there, everything in that color is gone. But sometimes not. The next thing I got is this little purse. It's so cute. It's a little change purse. Do you want it, Katina? Is it, this, is it the right size for you? what she wants. She just wants to head scratch. You're blocking it, the camera. It's super cute. It's not beaded per se. It is beaded, but the beads are glued onto the fabric as opposed to sewn onto the fabric. And it says made in Hong Kong. I would put this miniature one inside of a larger one. <laughs> Um, it definitely doesn't fit. It probably doesn't fit a credit card. Probably just coins and a little tiny lipstick and that kind of thing. This was also, well no, this one was $2.99. Then my husband got a book, so he loves to read. And there's some classics he hasn't read yet, so he got Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. Um, just in the Barnes and Noble classics format. Um, I haven't read this, he hasn't read it either, but we both know that Jane Austen wrote her, her big works during the Regency era. Everybody thinks of Jane Austen, they think of the Regency era. However, the <laughs> this painting that they decided to put on the front is completely Rococo, so we're just in the wrong century. I don't know why they put that on there, because I don't even think it takes place in the previous century, so what were they thinking? I don't know. I mean, it's still beautiful, but like, <laughs> so I'm not gonna read this, but I just wanted to point that out because what in the fashion history? You got that wrong. Okay, and then the last thing I found is what I believe to be a homemade dress, either from the 40s or the 50s. It's just kind of what I'm thinking. It could be from, gosh, it could be from the 80s. I don't know, but it's definitely homemade. It has no tag. It's got this beautiful um, ivy leaf pattern on it, but there's so many things about the stitches that is handmade. There are a few uh, holes that I might need to fix, but it has this metal zipper, hidden metal zipper. It's got belt loops. Um, the cut and style of it is definitely 50s to 50s, 40s to me, um, so I'll go try it on, but it's very, very cute. It feels delicate. Um, somebody, you know, hemmed it by hand. It's very dainty, delicate. But anyway, judging by the silhouette and just kind of how fragile it feels, it makes me want to think it's from the 40s or 50s because that would be awesome, but I don't know. Either way, it was... So this is the price of my dresses. Typically at my Goodwill, a $7.24, $7 something. So it's not the best price, but I only got one dress. So it sucks actually when I go and I see a bunch of dresses I like because then I'm like cha-ching 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 seven 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 oh no I'm getting all these dresses but it's not the end of the world because I don't have too many 
thrift stores in my immediate area, so it's worth it, it's fine. That's everything I got at Goodwill. I love thrifting, so hopefully I can make a lot of more thrifting and shopping content in general. I love shopping, but I always try to find a good deal and I try not to be wasteful and um, that's why I usually get secondhand things, but I try to find things that are more affordable like makeup and jewelry and accessories and even like household stuff like pink cat treat got it for free from my apartment complex somebody left it behind i just cleaned it up and oh my gosh like there's so many things that i find for free so i don't technically dumpster dumpster dive but if there was something on the top of a dumpster that i really wanted yes i would go in and i would get it that's actually everything today so that was a lot of fun um, so thank you so much for watching and, um, I'll see you very, very soon because hopefully I want to post more. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs>